This is a Unify U7 Pro which is a Wi-Fi 7. So what is Wi-Fi 7? Let's check into it. So what is Wi-Fi 7? Wi-Fi 7 is basically 802.11b e standard. It has some features like it support MLO which is multi-link operation. It has wider 6 GHz channel and it support 4096 QAM which is quadrature amplitude modulation. So let's check what is MLO multi-link operation. Multi-link operation this features enable devices to use the multiple band like 2.4, 5 and 6 GHz at the same time. So it lets your device connect to reliable faster Wi-Fi and lets you use all available band at once. Also the second uh, thing is it has a wider uh, channels like Wi-Fi 7 support up to 320 megahertz channel which is double than that of the Wi-Fi 6E. So it allows more data to be transmitted at a given time and the Wi-Fi 7 uses 4096 QAM. So what is QAM and why does it matter? So QAM is a quadrature amplitude modulation. So let's understand in a basic example what does 4096 QAM does. So I will take an example of a grocery baskets. So imagine you are shopping in a grocery and each basket you carry represent the data being sent over the Wi-Fi. So with Wi-Fi 6 each basket can hold up to 1024 items like apple, banana, etc. With Wi-Fi 7, each basket can hold up to 4096 items. So you are able to carry a lot of more groceries, which is data, at one trip. So which means you can finish your shopping or uh, download stream data much faster with Wi-Fi 7 because each basket, which is a data transmission, create more stuff at once however just like carrying a heavy basket work best if you are close to the store so basically 4096 squam work best when you are close to the ap which has a strong signal so let's unbox this and see what you get inside the box and later on we will adopt it on the unify controller and see its features so this is the box of the unify u7 pro you can see uh, the these APs got new boxes and you can see the name here U7 Pro on the back side you will see the unify.ui.com so from here you have to unbox it see I can show you you have to just peel that off and you have to open it so the unboxing is quite similar to other access point so you have to just uh, remove the AP from the box you have to remove everything from here so it's there is nothing else inside in the box so you have to open this and you will see this is the access point uh, which I cover so we'll keep aside this access point right now here and these are level can level the access point these are some mounting plates for the ceiling mount and some screws you see this type of screws and these are the guide so let's keep everything here and keeping aside this so you got this mounting plates some screws this is the setup guide this is the level and this is the access point itself so on the back you will see it got a poe in plus 2.5 gig port and this is a re reset button so and you can see the model name u7 pro so this look quite i mean uh, as compared to the other access point it look quite heavy and I'm going to replace this access point uh, with my U6 slide which I have mounted on the ceiling here and it got stopped working. So I will just replace that U6 slide with this new U7 Pro and then I will show you the adoption method and then we'll test the speed. So I will utilize the 
2.5 gig interface of this access point by powering with the PoE switch of the Enterprise 8 PoE which got 2.5 GB interface. So let's check the adoption method and unboxing uh, I mean the setup of the U7 Pro. So this is the U6 light which I have mounted on the ceiling and it stopped working. So I am going to replace this U6 light with the new U7 Pro and I will show you how you can uh, mount with the mounting plate given inside the box of the U7 Pro. So this is a U6 light. I have removed it and I have to remove this mounting plate also and I have to place the new mounting plate which I got on the U7 Pro. So first I will remove this and I will place the new mounting plate. I have mounted the U7 Pro uh, on, on the ceiling. As you can see, this is how it looked when it mounted on the ceiling. So right now I will just power it on and show you the adoption process on the Unify controller. This is the cable which is coming from the uh, U7 Pro. So I will power it the U7 Pro with the Enterprise 8 PoE and I will connect it to the uh, 8 port uh, PoE switch and I can utilize the 2.5 GB interface as you can see so I have powered it on and now I will go ahead and check under the controller for pending adoption and I will show you the process of that so here on the screen you see I have a uh, U7 Pro showing click to adopt I have powered with the USW Enterprise 8 PoE switch which has 2.5 GB interface so I will realize that so I will just go ahead and click to adopt and it will adopt it and while it is adopting I will show you the specs of the access point and show you the difference how many um, access point uh, of Y7 Ubiquiti have so let's just check here this is the U7 Pro you can see it's a ceiling mounted Wi-Fi 7 access point with the 6 spatial stream uh, it supports 6 GHz and only the difference you will see with the U7 Pro Max as the U7 Pro Max got 8 spatial stream and the coverage is also uh, high in U7 Pro Max also it got a spectrum analyzer as a feature under the Unify controller which a U7 Pro does not have if you check here when the for the U7 Pro Max uh, you see the real-time spectral analysis for enhanced channel selection and the coverage is also uh, great, I mean uh, good in uh, it cover more area uh, the U7 Pro Max uh, also you see the price comparison it comes in the $279 uh, if you look for the U7 Pro it comes in $189 and uh, it supports the same 300 plus concrete clients and the coverage is 1500 feet square and 6 spatial screen. So I have adopted uh, right now as you can see it says getting ready and right now uh, there is an update option showing also it says type replacing your AP cables not sure uh, let's confirm does it So you can see here it is right now it is connected to the Unify switch and the device version is 7.0.21 and the, you can see the uptime and everything but I will go ahead and check the SSID right now on the main network I will go ahead and what I will do, I will just create a new SSID uh, and I can test the speed uh, with the other access point. So I have adopted uh, the U7 Pro and I have uh, a workaround like uh, I don't utilize the 6 GHz band because it is not available. So what I did, I went ahead uh, into the settings of the controller and under the system, I changed the time zone, uh, the country region to the United States so I can see the 6 gigahertz band here also so right now you will see under the Wi-Fi I can see 2.4 5 gigahertz 6 gigahertz 
frequencies so you can see that so that's a workaround because uh, if you want to use the utilize the wi-fi 7 6 gigahertz band you have to enable and use the country location and i mean i won't recommend to use it on your network this is for my lab and testing purpose so yeah i have went and created a new ssid as a test wi-fi and i have assigned the wi-fi band as 2.4 5 in the 6 gigahertz is a mixed mode so and i have just assigned the u7 pro so i can make a difference when i connect to the u7 pro ssid what uh, speed do i get uh, using this ssid on the u7 pro is there any differences or not because uh, this macbook air it's 802.11 ax and the iphone 13 pro which i have is also you know, wi-fi 6 802.11 ax so you will see a differences and i have a internet uh, download and upload speed from the isp is 500 mbps so i'm hoping i should get around uh, 350 mbps or more than 350 to 400 so i have connected uh, my macbook to this ssid as you can see the test wi-fi so i will just make sure i'm connected uh, uh, to the uh, u7 pro on uh, yeah i'm connected to the u7 pro as you can see the test wi-fi and the experience is excellent so i'll just make sure i'm connected to the standard wi-fi 6 as you can see the tx and R rx rate uh, yeah so i'm connected to the uh, wi-fi 6 and the u7 pro so i will just check the iperf speed so i have a iperf uh, agent running on the raspberry pi uh, so i will just use that so you have the command is iperf3-c and the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. I will run that and you can see uh, the differences in the speed. So I will just make sure I've, if I'm connected to the correct or not. So at first it started very slow. So I will just give it one more try and test the speed again. So now you can see the differences in the bit rate and the transfer and the bit rate. You can see the average of the speed when it uh, gives you so you can see the transfer um, megabytes is 521 and uh, 519 and the bit rate you can see 437 mbits per second and the 434 receive so yeah it's a uh, it's an average speed which i get in the ipuff 3 and right now i will just close this out and i will look into the wi-fi man desktop app right now i'm running on the desktop so as you can see this is my isp this is the u7 pro and this is the macbook air connected to the isp so here you can see the wi-fi speed frames everything so i will just go ahead and start the speed test so and see the so it will just uh, run the speed test from the isp to the uxd pro the download and upload speed from the isp to the uxd pro and then the uxd pro to that client which is connected via u7 pro on that ssid so you will see the differences uh, and the latency you can see the notice one milliseconds from the isp and the five milliseconds from that uh, uxd pro from that u7 pro to the macbook air so this is the result you see the physical mode 802.11x the standard and the physical speed you see and the signal is minus 32 b uh, dbm and the channel i'm connected on, uh, to the wi-fi 5 44 40 megahertz and the test service is getting mumbai india so this is the average speed i get here uh, on uh, wi-fi 7 pro because previously i was using the u6 Lite, so the speed does not go much on that u6 Lite as compared to the u7 pro uh, which was also the wi-fi 6 but i don't get much speed on that so with the U7 Pro, I'm getting better speed and the U6 Lite is no longer working. So I just replaced this uh, with the U7 Pro and I'm utilizing the 6 GHz band. So uh, in this video, you have seen that uh, what is Wi-Fi 7 and uh, the advantages of the Wi-Fi 7 U7 Pro access point from the Ubiquiti. And um, I've shown you the mounting also, how to mount it and place it on a ceiling. And then I've shown you the adoption of it and later on we check the specification so i will keep testing this access point 
on the IoT devices uh, and see how many IoT client uh, I can connect to this access point. And I have not updated the firmware version. As you can see, it comes with the firmware version of 7.0.21. So uh, I will go ahead and test the updated firmware version and what's improving. I will update in later on in the video. So uh, in this video, uh, I will keep it as uh, that much now. Uh, so I think uh, I've covered all the topic of adoption, the U7 Pro, what is Wi-Fi 7 and all the topic. So I think that's it for the today's video. I hope you will like this video. And if you have any question, you can comment down. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. You can check the size differences between the U6 Lite and the U7 Pro. Also the LED brightness you can see. Uh, this is the new access point. So the middle uh, logo and the LED is quite bright uh, when you check on the U7 Pro. And, but you can see the differences between the light switches and the U7 Pro.